Hey guys! And welcome to Master the Russian Cases through Examples. Today we continue with the accusative case and we will take one more usage of it, which is direction of motion, or as I like to call it, the final destination of motion or of an action. I will explain it to you right now. For example, Я еду в Москву. I'm going to Moscow. Moscow is my direction of motion and it's my destination of motion. That's why we put the word Москва, which is feminine, in the accusative case and it takes the ending U. В Москву. But when I'm already there in Moscow, I would use the prepositional case. Ты где? Where are you? Я в Москве. I'm in Moscow. You see? And the same will happen when we have a little action, little motion, like putting something somewhere, taking something from somewhere, and so on. But you will see it with our examples. The four words of today are шампунь, чай, which are masculine, and платье и зеркало, which are neuter. Let me give you the rule, first of all, and it's easy. Masculine and neuter inanimate words, as you noticed, all the words of today are inanimate. Don't change in the accusative case. So, what we need to know is their nominative case, and it will not change. So, let's get started! Помните? Я показывала вам мой любимый шампунь. Я очень люблю этот шампунь, поэтому вчера я снова купила этот шампунь. А сейчас я буду пить чай, но он очень горячий. Поэтому я хочу добавить в мой чай молоко. Я наливаю молоко в чай. И теперь мой чай больше не горячий. А вы заметили, что я надела платье? Я очень люблю это платье, поэтому сегодня утром я надела это платье. А помните мое любимое зеркало? Вчера я потеряла это зеркало, а сегодня утром я нашла мое любимое зеркало, и я очень рада. So, as you see, our words didn't change. And as you noticed, there was the usage of the, of the accusative case as a direction of motion with tea and milk. As you remember, we were pouring milk into our tea. So, we use the accusative case. Я добавляю молоко в чай. But when it's already there, I would use the prepositional case. В моем чае есть молоко. You see, in this case, I changed the word чай into the prepositional form в чае. And when it was our destination of motion, of pouring the milk, I didn't change it. Я добавляю молоко в чай. So, basically, if you can ask the question like where to, I'm adding some milk to where, yeah? We wouldn't change masculine inanimate. And if the question is where is it now, like where the milk is now, it's in the tea, we would use the prepositional case в чае. 
So, I hope it was helpful and thanks for staying with me. See you!